Hi Kindergarten, it's Miss Collins and Oliver. We are here with a math video today. It's going to go along with Hamlin County's district website for the week of April 27th through May the 1st. We are practicing making the number 5. Ollie, can you count to 5? Show me with your fingers. Can you count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Good job. So we know the number 5. We've learned that. Easy peasy. Okay, so we're going to review addition and how to make the number 5. So if I have two pencils, Oliver, how many crayons do you think I need to hold? Three. All right, so we have two pencils and three crayons. So two plus three equals what? Five. Five. Can you point to my, the stuff in your hand? Not in my hand, not on the screen. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Good job. So are we right? Two plus three equals five? Yes. Good. Okay, so what if I change that number a little bit? What if I only have one? How many do I need in this hand? Four. Four. Boys and girls, do you think you got it? Yes. Okay. I'm really smart. All right, so we have one. Can you point and count? I can't do it holding all this. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. So one plus four equals? Five. Five, that's right. So, if you have two different objects, you can do it like that. If you only have the same object, like these little beads, Ooh. they're kind of see-through, you can just practice putting them in two separate groups. And parents, you can give a number like I did with Oliver and say, if I have two, how many more do I need? How many more do I need? Three. Okay, so I have one, two. So, if we have three... Then I have 2 plus 3 equals 5. 5. So even if they're the same object, you can just separate them into groups and see. And then parents, you can always shake them up and divide them in your hand and say, okay, what's my equation? One. No, that's my answer. That's my sum. Um, so how many do I have in this hand? Four. Four. How many do I have in this hand? One. One. So what would my equation be? Five. That's my sum. That's my answer. This is how many? Four, four plus one equals and five. Five. Good mm -hmm. job. So four plus one equals five. five. So if you have objects, you can use that. If you don't have any objects available, which is totally fine, but you can always use cereal or whatever you can find, you can draw circles. Let's put this down just a little bit, okay? So if I have one, two, Three. How many more circles would I need to make five? That's the number Two. three. Okay, so do I put an addition or a subtraction sign? Am I adding or subtracting? Addition. Addition. And how many did you say? I have three. How many more do I need? Two. Two. So one, two. So three plus two equals what? Five. Five. Is All it? right. So parents, you can do something like this as well. 3 plus 2 equals 5. We're just trying to review different ways to make 5 because 5 is such an important number, okay? Hey, you can always remind five. them they have 5 fingers on their hands, and you can put down a few fingers and see how many are needed to be put back up, okay? There are so many things you can do with this, and you can ask them in a word problem like I've done with Oliver. If you have 3, how many more do you need? If I... Yep, that's right. If I have three, he needs two, and that equals five. So there's so many different ways you can just practice basic math, okay? So I would love to see some work from our kiddos. I hope you guys know we love you, and we miss you so much. We can't wait to see you again, okay? Thank you for watching our videos, and we'll see you soon, okay?